In this video, we will show the major updates of Elecard StreamEye Studio 2021. We changed the versioning of StreamEye Studio. Now the ear is used to denote the version. The most important innovation of all StreamEye products is the support of the VVC standard, which was finalized in October 2020. Besides, we implemented new features and improved the user interface and application performance. The new version of StreamEye acquired additional features as part of VVC support. In comparison with previous video codecs, VVC has got adaptive loop filter and better SAO filtration, so we implemented two additional data outputs, after deblocking and after SAO. Applying them, the user can compare pixels after each filtration step and assess filter's performance. More complex compression algorithms allow improving the video quality, but at the same time, they raise the requirements for resources and increase the volume of analyzed data. In the new version, the user can select data for analysis. This feature allows speeding up the application and using less memory. Besides, we added set position mode for quick positioning. This setting is useful for work with long video sequences. Representation of chroma is added. In the main window, now it is possible to switch between luma and chroma. The corresponding data may be also found on the block info panel. New visual representations for sample adaptive offset, adaptive loop filter, and a discrete cosine transform are added to the main window and the block info panel. Moreover, the block info panel now is easier to use as there is a possibility to filter data. The decoding order mode helps to check the sequence of block decoding. It can be used to check whether the specified HRD model is followed and to evaluate if the buffer works efficiently at a defined bitrate. We also improved the analysis of streams compressed into other formats. Support of the FLB container for AVC and HEVC is added. NAL and SEI units representations for AVC and HEVC are extended. Additional presentation modes for reference frames Lines, prediction parts, and hierarchy are added. They show which frames were used for the prediction of the current frame, estimate the proportion of borrowed pixels, as well as examine the hierarchy in detail. The DPB occupancy graph allows easily checking the presence of the current frame in the subsequent frame buffer. A temporal ID graph is implemented. It allows assessing the temporal scalability of each frame. Stream Analyzer now also supports VVC and FLB file container for AVC and HEVC. Displaying of HBB TV data for TS is implemented. The Time Dynamics panel got a new tab where you can find the PCR accuracy graph and estimate accuracy of timestamps in the stream. We improved the representation of PCR, PTS, DTS values, so now the user can switch between hexadecimal and decimal data. What is more, the user interface became more friendly. Now there is navigation through stream elements and possibility to expand and collapse packet property data in the main window panel with the hotkeys. Like the other StreamI Studio products, video quality estimator and quality gates now support VVC. Quality gates also support the FLV container for AVC and HEVC. You can try all StreamEye Studio products for free. To request a demo, go to our website using the link in the description and fill out a short form.